Hi guys, it's Angie and I'm so excited to be playing this game. This is Zero North, Zero West and I want to thank Color Fiction for sending me this game because to be honest it looked beautiful but as you probably saw there is a photosensitive warning at the beginning of the game and I really want you guys to take a moment and think if this is a game suitable for you because there is going to be a lot of flashing colors and images and if any of you react badly to that please keep that in mind all right okay but I guess right now we can start but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do um, is this start start option exit Let's try, let's try with the first one. No, it was the exit. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect the exit to be the one on the left. Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> Okay, but this is options, right? Um, is this options? I don't think so. <laughs> this is interesting. This is a very standard... Oh, Color Fiction Presents. So is this like intro for the game? Or maybe creative process of the game? Is this some kind of a story? But the uh, interesting is that everything is black and white while from what I've seen the game is very colorful. So I wonder what, what, what this is. And why is it it's so unintuitive? <laughs> hey! He had a manual gear. That's amazing from what I heard in the United States that you usually have automatic uh, gear. It's not that popular in, in Europe, you know. Usually people use still the, the manual one. Okay, we are going the long way from the city to I should know this monument, but I have no idea. <laughs> it reminds me of something. I should I should know it. Okay, we are going deeper and deeper into the countryside. There's fewer and fewer. Oh, are we approaching another city? No, not really. Oh, that that was a long way. Also, I find it really interesting that in in the United States, where when you have like a two hours drive to somewhere it's not that long and some people even consider it pretty pretty close meanwhile in in Europe two hour drive and you can be in another country sometimes it depends on how close you live to the border of course but um, ooh, this is a change in visuals Welcome to Night Vale. <laughs> this is very weird. Zero North, Zero West. So, no, this was the start of the game. So this is my car. I cannot do anything. All right. So, from what I understand, this is um, more like a, an exploration game. Some would dare to call it a walking simulator. Uh, but it's an exploration game and it's, I think it's a more on the visual, um, visual side, visual experiences side. There's a radio, I think some popcorn maybe. It's very interesting that the, those models are very, very uh, simple. I 
cannot do anything here. I can go here. To the oh, okay. To the cinema. I wanted to go to the door that was on the bottom left, but oh, I can still move the camera and myself. Oh man, I can run. I can jump. Let's try entering some door. And everything went white. And there's more door now. What? Let's choose green because I like green. Yeep. Oh, sweet Jesus. I hope you guys followed my advice and 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 the game froze. I'm not supposed... I, I don't think it this should happen. Um, and it's not responding, so I guess this isn't a good... Um, a good thing. All right. Restart. Okay, last time I chose this one, so let's... Because this is exit. I should have known by the exit sign over here. This is something, so let's see this one. Maybe this is continue. Ooh. Wait, I remember that under P, I think there's a photo, maybe. Under M, there's supposed to be, oh, this is only, so th these are some options. They are not very, what? Oh, what? I have no idea what I'm doing. I... Uh, this is fascinating. But on the other hand, um, this is fascinating, but also slightly confusing. I mean, I think slightly is an understatement. Oh, and I'm falling. Okay. I'm bouncing up and down even when I'm not... Oh, I think I'm gonna die. There's no death in this game. Holy shit, this is weird. Um, alright. Oh, I can move. Then let's move. Hopefully we'll find something. Um, it doesn't look like it. I feel like we're only going through like forest weird psychedelic forest and I can jump really high um I I'm so lost and I think we might have missed something like there was I think there was supposed to be a story because you know we had a set um location with that um cinema wait I'm not jumping anymore all oh, right, now, because I think I'm bouncing also, as well. All right, but let's go back to this options, and I think one of those might be exit, but I'm not sure which. So let's go back here and try choosing something else. But I'm not sure what those codes are supposed to be. This is so... I don't want to repeat that it's weird. Okay, we are back at slightly more logical location. Is that RKWO? Right. Uh, um, this is also pretty weird that I can there's a floating something. And it looks like a camera, I guess, that's scanning the everything around, maybe. So anyway, where oh, I think this is supposed to be a fireplace. That's cool. I am, this is a bathroom. All right. There's, I think there are stairs here. Can I go? Let's try going a bit faster. Hopefully we'll get to the top. Oh, there, there, there are missing 
steps. Okay. Mm. You know what? At some point, I'll have to stop. Yes. And and what now? Where are the stairs? I think that that one is the last one. And what now? Should I jump onto the top of this building? Let's try. Because what's stopping us? Nothing. Okay, so I went to the top of this building. And what now? Maybe I should have gone to the bottom. Maybe let's try interacting with one of those weird cameras, right? Because maybe they will do something. Let's just fall. What? I'm going too fast. And I'm having trouble controlling my... Oh. I don't think it's a door. But, all right. Oh, there's a street, I think. Oh, no, no. The, the stairs are being getting thinner okay let's let's leave this place and try going let's try venturing into the city this is so strange because i feel like i'm i'm a giant jumping on the buildings like i don't know king kong or something like that this huge building is pretty interesting i would like to go to the top of it but i don't think i'll be able to because my jumps aren't that high and i cannot climb anything here so let's try getting under the oh the light of one of those flying thingies are you going to do anything to me no no i don't think so they just look um dangerous but they are not doing anything hmm i mean i wish i had some kind of guidance because oh Okay, I think this is supposed to be road or maybe metro. This is cool. Yeah, this is nice. But anyway, like I said, I wish I had some kind of guidance that I would know which type of thing I can interact with and which I cannot, like it's not doing anything because right now I feel a bit lost. And what am I supposed to do? Oh, all right. <laughs> Okay, I love this one. It's like, it's like ocean is everywhere, but not like I'm under the water, but it's like I'm slightly above water everywhere I go. This is the, oh, so strange and so cool. Okay, this is a huge circle within circle. Oh, I left. Okay. Oh, this is... Um, but like I mentioned, I would like some kind of guidance. Because also... I have... Sometimes I have problem with games that are purely visual um, presentations. Like, I want to know what, what, you, what you wanted to relay through your presentation. But nonetheless, this is trippy. And I have to admit, I really like colorful games. So it's still, it's still nice to be able to see colors. Oh, okay, okay. I've fallen through the cracks. I don't know where I am. And I, for, for a second there, I thought that maybe the colors are changing uh, with the, uh, to the sound of music, to the rhythm. But, oh, come on. Ugh, let's get here. Let's get up because I don't want to be stuck underneath all those shapes. I want to get above. Come on. Uh, oh, I got there. All right. Yeah, because there is space here and I can... And I can do stuff, hopefully. What's this? It's floating shapes. But also don't think that I don't appreciate when a game has a slightly darker um, atmosphere because everything has to match, you know? If I have psychedelic stuff, then, then it's colorful and it's changing and it's, and it's, oh, wow. It looks like something. 
To be honest, it reminds me a bit of the times when I was using uh, Microsoft Paint, but like um, the colors are very basic, like in the first Paint, like Windows 95 or 98. I know it's not exactly first version of Paint, but it's the first one I used. And um, uh, yeah, the basic colors are exactly like the palette that was available then. Whoa. What's this? And the weird cropped things, the lines over there are like like you just messed around with the um, crop tool. I, am I leaving the map? Whoa, I think so. I think I'm on the edge of the map here. And when I fall in here, yes, exactly as I as I thought. All right, is this loading or is it uh, already another dimension? Dear author, what, what are you trying to tell me through those presentations? Because I don't understand. Because sometimes, and I'm here again, I've been here. Because sometimes I'm locked in, in like buildings Oh, what is that? It looks alive. Sometimes I'm... Oh, no. It's... Everything is moving here. This is... It's hard to navigate here because... Uh, I'm... Right now I'm standing still, but as you can see that the platform underneath me is still moving and I'm gonna fall. Okay. Okay, let's try to get some ground. All right. There's something over there, like, like a shape. It's a, it's a door? Can I make it to the door? Yes, I made it. All right, there's a lot of door now, everywhere. Too bad I cannot move down or up. I can only jump here, but I cannot jump through the door over here. I didn't jump high enough, but I can get through the door over here. Oh, wow. I mean, I love it. I like the visuals. But again, I am missing something. Wait, I've been here, I think. What? This is new. All right. Are you trying to tell me something? Oh, okay. Okay. If I move away from the screen, it's not blocking my view. So let's not get close to it. Um, this is exactly the same apartment that I've been before, but now with a different filter. And it's placed in a bit different environment. And e to be honest, even I am moving a bit different than, than in other environments because my jump is lower. Like the gravity is, is stronger here. And there are some weird lasers coming out from the building over there. Okay. All right. You know what this reminds me of? Um, I don't know why, but this... Um, this reminds me of Color Out of Space, I think. A short story by, by Lovecraft. <laughs> like... You know, the color out of space was about a family that had a well next to their um, house. Oh, wow, what is this? But then something happened, like a star had fallen into their well, and then the weird thing started happening, and the people living in that farm started getting sick. But anyway, this is how I imagined later the whole thing looked after the color spread okay but here i'm looking for some exit or some way further but i cannot find anything um all right okay to be honest i don't know why i was thinking that z zero north zero west is going to be a bit more like Oxen free, maybe? 
or Kentucky Route Zero. But maybe it's maybe it's um I had a I had a weird you know I had imagined something else but right now I'm I am stuck in this psychedelic visual vi visualization and oh uh, I don't know what to do I'm lost here um Okay, I think the best way is usually to try and reach the end of the map or try to find door somewhere because that's also an option. But I think I'm reaching the end, right? Yeah. Bam, and let's go somewhere else. All right. Okay. I don't know what's happening in here, but it's a lot of red and white. And again, somewhere else. Somewhere else, the same, the same apartment. I think the game is trying to tell me something. Like maybe, because in that uh, sequence at the very beginning, this person left the apartment, packed their bags and just left. And they left the city and this look exactly like a big and busy city. And maybe this is the apartment that the person was living in. Maybe. Maybe. Let's go back to the busy street. What? M more? What's here? Uh, a ro Rome? Eat? More? What is this? Um, R O M or W? Is it Rove or Rome? I think it's Rome. It's supposed to be Rome. What? And what's happening in here? There's flying somewhere. It's fantastic because this animation, although it's like, you know, undescribable shaped, its movements remind me of birds just taking off. Like the movement of wings. Oh, it's pretty amazing. Okay, let's move along the way. There are some letters here, but... F-A-T-R-E-T-N-W... Eat, 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 eat. L-U-U-X-Y... Are. No, I think it's gibberish. Okay, let's get higher. Let's try to get higher. I cannot. <laughs> I keep missing. Wah! Yeah, but I think that um, the feeling of motion is also pretty cool. What's, what's this? C-O-O-P-E-R C-O-O Cooperate. Cooperate, I think. So either way, here we have the city and it's black and white, but last time we saw the city, it was colorful and full of life. So what happened? I think I will have to, again, try to find the exit. The last time we found the exit from the city, when we went along the road, at some point we reached the something that looked like the exit and it teleported me outside so maybe here I'll get to it as well there's some weird light coming from here maybe here is something or maybe not maybe I'm getting lost even more than I did before or maybe I'll be able to reach the end of the map again here huh no there's a door Okay, <laughs> this is cool. Door within a door. And a lot of door again. Wow. All right, and we are at the apartment again. And there is a screen again, but I cannot interact with it this time. Okay, is this water? Or fields and there is a city let's try getting to that city all right 
let's look if there's anything interesting this way. So there's something that looks like a castle. Maybe let's try getting there. Okay, it's not a water because I didn't drown, so that's great. That's great. There's something that looks like a lava on left, or maybe it's supposed to be like city lights, but I'm not sure. Uh, let's get to the... Uh, okay, it's the castle is pretty tall, so I might have a problem getting there. But we'll try nonetheless. Okay, here maybe. Oh! Okay, this is a good way. Good way to the castle. But I don't think we'll find anything interesting here because, like I've seen before, there isn't much um, story to it. Or maybe I'm just reading it wrong. Maybe I'm focusing too much on the... What's there? There's something purple moving again, like a creature. It looks a bit hostile. And it's interesting how you can play with shapes and colors and create a feeling of, I don't know, being not welcome or maybe completely opposite, feeling more welcome than you would. Okay, there's another purple thingy. To be honest, if it was possible in this game to die, I would suspect that those things are supposed to guard this place and they are out to kill me. Those shapes... Those tall ones looks like a cathedral, you know, like some kind of place of worship. And this reminds me of the projects of a building that I saw. It's a bit like a like an empty gallery, like an empty art gallery. There's some chairs. And a car. It's really weird that I can clearly see that somebody put a lot of work into this this game, this walking simulator, this presentation, this whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of green. Let's go there because I like green. <laughs> okay, we are living the city. The cathedral and the museum or gallery. And let's go to the green fields. Green is um, a very optimistic color, I would say. It's, a, I think, a color of hope, if I remember correctly. Uh, or it's more like a toxic green. Not a... Not fresh, healthy green, but more like a sickly green. And there are again those shapes that look like... Or you know what? It looks like a jellyfish a bit. And those colors. Yeah, this isn't... This site doesn't look very healthy. It looks like it was contaminated with something. And those things... They're making sounds. Oh, wow. There are some weird lights floating over there. All right, there's some... Um, let's move more this way. Maybe we will reach the end of the map and see what's on the other side. I mean, on the other side of the map, it's... Of oh, there's red. So let's try moving from green to red. I think the place there might be pretty much the same as the one we saw here, but in red. But again, how colors and basic shapes can make you think of someplace something or feel something. Like, you know, this, this could look like it was somehow cracked and lava was, was pulling from the ground. But you know what? <laughs> Those red blocks here remind me of red lyrium from Dragon Age. <laughs> okay, is there any other color? There's something sparkling over there on the mountain. Let's see. I think it may be another shape similar to those purple ones that I said that look, looked like guardians. But we'll see. It also 
it may be a door, to be honest. So maybe this is the place we need to go to leave this this part. Let's try getting there. But again, it's set pretty high up over there, so we will have to go around to find a path to get here. Yeah, it's the door. I was right. So let's move on to the next place. Oh, and again, I can choose the door. Last time I chose the green ones, the game crashed. So let's choose the blue ones. The perspective here is pretty weird. See what's happening with the door? Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, this is cool. This is so, f wow. And I'm in the apartment again. But this time it's a bit different apartment. And it's, um, I'm a bit afraid to leave it because the, the shapes here are floating and doing weird things. And again, you could say that this is a big, oh, what, what, what? Okay, let's, let's fly away, I guess. Um, oh, I fell through the cracks. All right, I'm at the bottom. Is this a door? No, it's just a weird texture. Mm. Things are happening here at the bottom. I would prefer to be more up, a bit higher, because I don't feel safe in here. It's like the buildings are collapsing around me, although it's happening silently and it's, it's a bit unsettling, I would say. Um, the sky is pretty nice. But again, like I said, in my... Oh, and I fell <laughs> to the bottom. And I, tr I try to get m more to the top. I, I'm still wondering what was the thought process behind this project. What, what were you trying to tell me? Guys... I wonder, have I broke those things by getting closer? Because as you can see here, I went through there and they are all cracked. But here they are pretty, pretty okay. So let's try getting closer. Yes, I think I am messing up this place. Yes, definitely. As I'm getting closer, the, the place is getting messed up. Wow, that's interesting. That's pretty neat. But also this this explains why I cannot get any higher in this in this plane. Okay, so let's try leaving this place because I have enough of those floating buildings around me. Look how I messed this place up. Yeah, let's let's leave. There's a door? No, I think it's just a shape floating. Yeah, let's try getting to the edge of the map because this is the, the easiest way to get somewhere else. Oh, but this is getting so pretty. Look at the sky. The stars are red and purple. And there is nothing here. Just, just, it's like, and the pink right over there is like right before dusk. Oh, I, it looks like I'm, I'm getting close to some other city, I guess. No, I left the map. All right, all right. I'm here now. What is this? Weird sounds. I cannot jump in here. I can only run around. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the colors here. Okay, but we are again in some apartment or rather, this looks like an old photograph. And it, it, this looks like an old TV. Ew. And overall, this looks like an old house. So I guess this is supposed to be some kind of a memory. And I think something weird is happening to our model because every time I stop, everything is jumping up and down. I think it might be not exactly right. But the whole filter here, it gives me a vibe of, you know, memories of the times that were long ago. There's a small house on the, on the 
far away from the city. There's the barn. There are weird thingies moving there. <laughs> no, I fell. I fell behind the stairs. Okay. This looks like a perfect barn. Um. Okay. Okay, what now? I am starting to get pretty certain that there are supposed to be some kind of memories or maybe visions or dreams that I'm exploring somehow. And maybe I shouldn't um, expect... Is this a snowstorm? Because I can hear... Um, wind and i can i th i think i can see like snow bits snowflakes in the in the air so uh, i was saying that maybe i shouldn't oh, there's something white floating over there expect logic from this game because it's just psychedelic weird random visions maybe or maybe not so random but should i try to explain it somehow Maybe I shouldn't try to explain. Maybe I should try, just try to experience it. And maybe I should focus more on how I, f how those things make me feel instead of trying to figure it out. This is, this is not a puzzle to be solved, I guess. Maybe this game would be best to be contemplated alone. Or, I don't know. Or maybe it would be best to for a few people to experience it and maybe then just sit around and discuss their feelings and their uh, interpretations of this game. Because uh, I wish I could discuss it with somebody because I, I wish I could see somebody else's point of view in here. What, what they make of this, this whole game. What is Zero North, North Zero South? Because it sound, sounds like it could be a place, but where? How do you get there? Because we saw in the opening sequence that the person drove pretty far. Is this the end of the map? Will I have to climb the mountain to get to the edge? I guess so. I hope I'll manage to go through. Oh, I bet the farm is right now so far away. Okay, white. The end? No. But it feels like an arctic um, scenery. Like suddenly I'm in a completely different place. Oh. This again. I don't I don't like those. This is like intermission between one scene and the other. And I'm in a different place, different apartment. And it min it's minute one minute to midnight. It's silent, but judging by the color colors around, you could think that it's supposed to be New Year? Or maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. This looks like it's in the middle of the forest with all this stuff around. And I cannot interact with it. So it's just a, th those are just textures because I'm, I'm just going through them. They are not blocking my path. It's like a sea. Let's go to the sea. Oh, oh, this was so nice. I would like more sea, please. This is weird again. Oh, well. Okay, I can move this way. But when I'm trying to move faster, it looks very weird. And another apartment. Ev and every time I'm waking on a bed. And right now the time is... 8888. I don't think it's the right time. <laughs> and again, we're in the city. And there are floating cars now? There are some weird things happening right now. Okay. There's another screen. 
And again, I cannot do anything with it. Hmm. I'm still trying to find logic in this, but I should stop. I should really stop trying to do that. What's this? Oh, I fell and I'm still falling. And this time I do not want to stop. This time I want to fall into the bottom. How, wow, this was, this was a great scene, how everything disappeared into this blackness. And again, the apartment. Oh, oh, the wall just went through me. <laughs> this is the same, the same place. So we can try jumping off again. Maybe I shouldn't be jumping off because maybe this is some kind of a, I don't know, um, symbolism for killing yourself. And again, will I be transported to the same apartment? I don't think so. No. Oh. I mean, I could go through those places over. This looks like a desert. Nice. I really like the color scheme, the blue sky and the orange ground. This looks beautiful. And again, there are some buildings here, I think, because they don't look like natural creations. And there, something very tall here. The, everything here looks like, like a collapsed city, like a fallen civilization. All right, but oh, I'm I'm getting a bit overwhelmed by everything here. I think there is a door over there because they uh, Let's say glow differently. <gasps> What's this? Like some kind of weird plant life But I was going this way, right? Yes the door I Love how the door are always looking pretty normal compared to everything around Okay, and now I'm completely lost in black and white and it's night It's so strange that you can although everything is like I said psychedelic and weird and Hard to explain you can still make some details that clue you on what is what's this supposed to be like the music here and those sounds can tell you that it's supposed to be night. Can you hear it? Like the crickets in the background? And the calmness of it all. Overall it's it's I know the music can be a bit like keeping you on, on edge, but still it's very calm and nothing exciting is happening here although there are very sharp shapes you could say that this is a very dark night with a few lights coming from lanterns for example or you could try to say that this is like a, a winter night with only the pale light of the of the moon shining on the on the snow this is art. <laughs> but still, weird. Weird as, weird as fuck. <laughs> and I think I need to take a break because my mind's been going through some weird stuff to somehow make sense of it all. Although, like I said, I'm not sure if I should try to even make sense of it, but I still did. Okay, but so I'm taking a break and right now I would love to hear what you guys think of this kind of project. Would you play it or do you think it's not worth your time? Would you like to experience it? Because I can probably assure you that you would see very different stuff that I did. Maybe some scenarios or some location would overlap, but I think this, this whole thing is pretty randomized. But I get, I'll have to see again. I'll have to try this thing again and, and see. 
And right now, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.